Well, a year after Coles introduced cut price milk, around 30 Queensland dairy farmers have left the industry and more feel or fear they'll follow in their footsteps. One third generation farmer we spoke to today was reduced to tears talking about the future. For 60 years, the Paulgets have been farming here in Kenilworth. Their dairy herd is recognised internationally. Last year, Adderdale Talent Champagne was judged Australia's best cow of the year. Pretty proud to win that. But despite working 80 to 100 hours a week, Shane Paulger's losing ground. Surrounded by bills and bank statements, he's a man under extreme stress. You know, we're trying to make the decision to try and keep our business afloat, and it's hard. <coughs> Very hard. <coughs> so. It's a year since Coles began Australia's milk price war. Now it's slashing the price of vegetables. Things that people need to live, they are raping and pillaging the farmers who produce them to make themselves out that they're, they're you know, good people. And they are criminals because they are killing farmers indirectly with the workload and the strain and everything, I just, I just over it. Uh. He's appealing to consumers not to buy the supermarket's discount milk. It is just a farce, and I just hope the consumer can see through them, and I hope they reject them, because somebody's got to stand up, and like the politicians, are, they are just useless. At Moy Pocket, Ken Ruff would give up 19 years of dairying if it wasn't for his son wanting to stay. Like the Paulgers, their current contract with milk processor National Foods ends in June. Come 1st of July, I am very worried whether it'll be economical to keep going in the industry because they, I'll be very surprised if they don't carve our price about again. Nature's been cruel to the Paulgers too. Last year's flood destroyed a vital corn crop. My son this time last year was here working hard on this farm and to him, to, to, thanks to him this place is back to where it is. But guess where he is today? He's in a mine in Western Australia trying to support this farm. That is a disgrace. Jennifer Nichols, 7 News.